for no more. Certified shooter put the Mac like a pro. Close it up, pocket full of dimes with the stone. Mr. Double Up got nothing for the low. Close out, sell everything, gotta go. Good evening, people. Good evening. I almost forgot it was Friday until about five hours ago. The week has flown by fast. Flexi, uh, apparently you is doing a good job at trolling, Stanker. I've been seeing your commune while I've only... <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but apparently you got her trick. Keep it up. Keep it going. So, Don Lemon used to work for CNN, got fired after 17 years, I think. Not that he did anything, they were just downsizing. He'd been doing his independent journalism thing, which led him back to YouTube since this interview here got him canceled. Elon had a deal for him, a podcasting deal on Twitter. And after this interview, he canceled it. Apparently black people are upset. They said Elon Musk was racist, I guess, for this interview, and he didn't believe in free speech. I don't know. I just heard some of the backlash on Twitter, so I thought it would be interesting to hear the whole beat. I mean, the whole interview. And I got the music playing in the background because I learned my lesson after the Gypsy Rose thing. See, if you play some music in the background, it's hard for them to detect their audio. And since he sold it on YouTube, he might be with the shits. So I'm trying to work around it. And we're going to listen to the interview that got him dropped and people in an uproar. I hope I still got this stuck in my playlist. Was y'all shaking y'all ass to the music? Oh, that um, the second song I played, Kendrick Lamar. Apparently, he didn't diss Drake and J Cole. He, he didn't diss them. That has the music world upside down right now. They looking for J Cole. They looking for Drake. I'm sure both of them are in the lab. They trying to determine if Future was in on it because he on the song with them. This is a good time for. See, we know, true hip hop heads know, with this beef, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, J. Cole, and Future, ain't nobody gonna get hurt. Nobody's gonna pull up to Draco, ain't no entourage, none, none of that's gonna happen. This is gonna be some good old music, musical lyrics spitting. It's a good time for hip hop right now. They pulled it right out for the springtime. Can't wait. Nobody's gonna get hurt in this at all. Although Drake is known to fight, but he ain't, you know. He, I think they said Drake got smacked by Diddy. That's man, it, the music industry is crazy. Where's my video? Oh, got it right here. still here. In a minute, I'm going to bring you my conversation with Elon Musk, the one that everyone is talking about. But first, let me tell you a bit about the ship. Contrary to what you might have heard, we weren't canceled by X. Yes, after months of begging me, wooing me to offer some exclusive content on his platform, Elon- Oh, he said he wasn't canceled then. Okay, but you just ain't on the platform anymore. However you want to spin it. He also, he went on the press run after this interview. I, I don't know who put it out first. What I don't know who put it out. The way he talking, it seems like X. I was about to say Twitter. X put it out first. But he went back to CNN, his old job, and he was he went on a press tour. So this sucker should be here. It said a million views four days ago. It's doing what he expected it to do. Highly anticipated. Heavy, heavy promotion on syndicated TV, news networks. 
Elon Musk decided to scrap the deal. But our plan is, and always has been, to release this show everywhere on YouTube, on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, just about any place you stream content. Now for my conversation with Elon. As with all my interviews. What the? Wait a minute. Did he just try to spin it? Hold on. tried to spin it and say, no, 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 no. I didn't get fired from X. I was going to release this on all streaming platforms anyway. Not if that's not what the deal you signed said, sir. If your deal was exclusive with Twitter only, I mean X, I'm going to keep saying Twitter is supposed to happen. If your deal was an exclusive deal with X, you couldn't release it nowhere but X. Exclusive content on his platform, Elon Musk decided to <laughs> Elon Musk, the one that everyone is talking about. But first, let me tell you a bit about the show. Contrary to what you might have heard, we weren't canceled by X. Yes, after months of begging me, wooing me to offer some exclusive content on his platform, Elon Musk decided to scrap the deal. But our what what deal you said you didn't sign? It wouldn't have been a deal to scrap. Anyway, whatever. Good good spin job. Plan is and always has been to release this show everywhere on YouTube, on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, just about any place you stream content. Now for my conversation with Elon. As with all my interviews, no restrictions, no ground rules, nothing off limits or out of bounds. That is until- Yeah, the- he put them out after X said they no longer were doing the show with him. He ain't had no choice. He was like, Fuck. He thought his, well, as he was saying on his media tour, he was saying that he was telling Elon after the interview, I think it was a good interview and it, it's good for people to see you be challenging in this light. And he thought it was a good thing. He didn't think Elon had a problem with it until he found out his deal wasn't dealing no more. And he, I'm sure his deal with X came with a certain amount of money, guaranteed money that he knew he was going to make. You don't know how much money you're going to make with YouTube or these other platforms. You don't know. And they're not exclusive either. So if you put it on Spotify, he getting a chunk of it. It's not like he got an exclusive deal with him where he got guaranteed money. He had guaranteed money with Elon. Let's just say Elon said, I'm going to give you $10 million a year. That's guaranteed. He not guaranteed to make that on YouTube and wherever else he got the podcast. Interview ended. So what went wrong? I don't know. But my hope is that you learned something about both Elon and me, two people who come from completely different vantage points on almost every single issue. And I challenge you, Elon, to watch the whole interview and tell the world why this isn't what you claim you want on X. Thank you for inviting us here. You're welcome. Tesla headquarters. I, it's, I'm surprised. I'm 
how big it is. I've never seen it. Yeah, it's about three times the size of the Pentagon. Yeah, I would both it in 16 months. It's the fastest construction project in the United States since uh, World War II. So I'm here, you know, as you know, I'm on the platform because you are, you say you're a free speech absolutist, right? And no conditions. Uh, yeah. Free speech is uh, as, as much as possible within the bounds of the law. Yeah. So uh, the reason I'm saying that is because there are no conditions on this interview. You said that, you know, we'll speak to you for an hour. I don't like sound bites, so I welcome that. So let's get yeah. into it. So we're here in Austin, South by Southwest uh, is going on. We're at the Tesla headquarters. You are in the process of moving SpaceX here, I understand? No. Uh, so uh, SpaceX has uh, a massive uh, facility in South Texas where we build and launch Starship. And then we, we have um, in Bastrop near uh, Austin, we uh, are about to start production at a, a Starlink uh a large Starlink factory for Starlink terminals, but it's uh, but, but we're not shutting down any facilities in California. Um, listen, we are here as part of the launch of a news interview show that is going to be on X.com. Uh, it's coming as a media industry, as you know, is going through a whole lot of changes. Yeah. X has also been affected by that. Where do you see X? We here as a part of the media lunch, but he just told us before he started this interview, he get. He was like, I wasn't canceled. See, what it happened was after months of this nigga trying to get me to sign, he pulled a deal back. But you just, you on a lunch. That comes role in the future of news and journalism, Elon. Well, I, I think the, I see the, the X as, uh, it, it's, it's really the number one source of news uh, in the world. So it is number one. Yeah, uh, the number one way that people actually are informed about any kind of news, meaning real-time events, is uh, on the X platform for Twitter. Um, there's there's nothing even close for real-time news. So um, we also want to expand upon that, um, and we we have done so with uh, long-form content. So instead of just doing what you call tweets, you can now do long-form posts. You can post an entire essay. In fact, you can now. Uh, for the entire book. You can do porn on X, but you can't say certain things. See, I don't think him or here would be allowed to troll with white power on X. I don't think they would allow that. Of course, the entire book to the platform. Um, you can do long form video content. Uh, so you can do uh, up to four hour video segments. Um, we really want news in whatever form it is, or information, I should say, in whatever form it is, to be available on our platform, whether it's short, long, text, pictures, video, whatever the case may be. Yeah, and some of the stuff that we do, long-form video, interview shows, or what, or what have you. Yeah. You, um, you reached out over the summer and you said, it would be great to have Matto, Don Lemon, and others on the left put on this uh, platform. You'll receive full support. The Digital Town Square is for all. What do you mean by that? I just mean that uh, we want to make sure that there are a wide variety of viewpoints. That it's, uh, you know, we always have, for example, Tucker Carlson, who uh, most people will view as being on the right. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's a quite, a, quite a prominent uh, name on the right. We want to have uh, prominent names on the left as well uh, to provide uh, different views of points of view, uh, as well as centrists, just basically a wide range of, of viewpoints on the platform. So, Users can uh, hear different opinions. Yeah, Doug uh, probably got the money up front anyway. He, probably, he ain't tripping about it. That's 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 when you don't care. It's a tax write off. Hey, I paid him for a show. It ain't work out. They ain't fucked up. He's not fucked up about the money. He bought Twitter. He owned Tesla. He got his own space company. He ain't. He not bothered about the little money he gave him. It's not like he gave him a hundred million or anything of that nature. You think here, you know, what is what's your point of view? What's Tucker's point of view? And they could, and you know, and people can make their own decision about well, what they do. Act like he didn't get get his show canceled on it. Wait, contrary to what you may have heard, we didn't get canceled. Like he was trying to get us to sad. He pulled the alphabet. That's what Dunn said at the beginning. He pulled the alphabet. 
I don't know why he lied right before he played this interview. Did he not listen to the interview before he did that little excerpt at the beginning of the video? What to believe? You didn't mean that I'm on the left? Did you think that? I thought you were on the left, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. but let's just say, I don't know what the left is or the right is, frankly, these days, because things can be quite polarized. But you seem, my impression was that you're, 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 you're be more likely to be described as on the left than the right. Uh, my, my sense is you're sort of center left. I don't know. You tell me. Well, did you ever watch me on CNN? Or did you watch? I saw, se I saw se se yeah. yeah, I'm not, I, I saw segments. But CNN is generally considered left. Yeah. Why do you say that? What, why do I say CNN is generally considered left? Uh, I think if, if you look at any sort of media survey of what is on the left or right, I think they would say, like, for example, Fox is on the right and CNN is on the left. Yeah. So that's what you think. Am I missing something here? Okay. <laughs> Are you missing he's, something? Uh, I don't know. I, I think that would be... He's correct, though. Don Lemon was working for a conservative left-leaning station, Ted Turner. I don't know if Ted Turner still owns it. It's in the South, Atlanta. Come on, come on now. He playing. Wait a minute, something you know. Thank you for the ten dollar cash app. You better run them donations, baby. Run them donations, baby. Run them donations, baby. When, when I read that, I said, like many uh, of my critics or detractors, they never really watched me on CNN. They just saw the clips of me either on social media or maybe on Fox News or a conservative media yeah. where it's sort of a where I've become a character or a caricature of what I actually am at a stake. He wasn't a critic, he was a fan of yours because he said he wanted to give you and other conservatives, left wing, lefters, left wingists, however you want to phrase it, he wanted to give y'all a voice on X. Out of context. Uh, sure. Well, how would you describe yourself? Um, I would describe myself as someone who is, I, I, I am independent in my thinking okay. and I vote for people based on the issues and how I feel about it, not necessarily because uh, of uh, political leaning of some sort. Well, I agree with that approach. I think that's generally how, yeah, how people should, uh, you know, take things, which is, I mean, there's, there's, there are a whole sort of set of issues, which are sort of somewhat arbitrarily bucketed into right or left. Um, but I think most, like most citizens, uh, would think that uh, they, they would agree with some things on the left, but not everything, or they agree on some things on the right, but not everything. Um, so uh, that's that's what um, I think most people feel, I guess. How much longer, and maybe, maybe the answer is forever, how much longer are we going to have to call it the formerly known as Twitter? I mean, even Prince went back to Prince instead of, is it always going to be X? It's definitely always going to be X. So X is going through some changes. It's a lot um, of, of media companies are going through some changes. It's it, you're in charge of an incredible platform, Elon. How do you feel that's going? I think it's going pretty well so far. Um, we're seeing record usage. Um, we've added a tremendous amount of functionality. I mentioned the uh, uh, that you know used to be that you could only do short you know text and video a picture or something like that, short video. Uh, but now you can do long form text, long form video. Uh, we've added audio video calling. I can stream uh, live so you can on not, not just do Let text DMs, do audio video calling. Um, we improved the algorithm, I, I think, significantly, um, and um, made the system faster and better, and that's reflected in the increased uh, usage. What up, mushroom gravy? What up, fool? So, the look. Cream of mushroom gravy is in the building. Let's talk about that because you said you wanted all points of view, right? It's, it's a digital town square for all. Yeah. It's the, the the platform has kind of picked up where conservative media, some conservative media has left off. Um, they're moving to the right, increasingly becoming part of a conservative dialogue, sometimes even conspiracy theories, right? 
there was an article recently written about you saying that you, Donald Trump, and X were the most important um, people uh, or places or whatever icons when it comes to the MAGA movement. Do you agree with that? How do you feel about that? Uh, well, I mean, there are nonsense articles written all the time, and I certainly wouldn't agree with that one. I put it in the nonsense category. So uh, the, 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 the objective fact of the matter, in my opinion, was that um, uh, old Twitter was a, a fundamentally a, t a tool of the, the far left. As far, and that was uh, really, I think, a lot of it was due to being located in San Francisco, Berkeley. Um, and so uh, it wanted to essentially project the SF Berkeley uh, political dogma worldwide. Um, you think it was far left? Yes, I do. I, I used to get, I actually got <laughs> off the platform because I would get so much hate tweets when it, when it was called in, so much hate tweets and, and just got from right-wing conspiracy theorists being called everything from, you know, fag to... Sure. Well, it's the, it's the internet, everything. you know, that people will do. I mean, I've been called every name times a thousand. Yeah. Do you agree that it's right now and that even no. it's moved into sort of maga no, I, don't, I, don't, theory? I certainly don't think it's right. Um, the, the old school Twitter uh, suspended and suppressed uh, accounts that we call on the right 10 times more than they did accounts on the left. And even when I did suspend an account on the left, uh, it was because of arguments between two people on the left. Uh, the political donations of old Twitter were 99% Democrat. Does that sound left, right, left wing or right wing to you? The Twitter donations? Yes. You yeah. know, when they look at donations by, from a company, if a company donates nine, literally 99% of all donations onto Democrats, does that strike you as a left leaning or a right leaning? Oh, you company? mean the company donated? I understand what you're saying. What I'm trying to tell you is that uh, Twitter employees, people at Twitter, their political donations were 99%, literally 99% uh, to Democrats. That's obviously an extremely left-leaning group. My question to leading into this is about MAGA. You, and speaking of MAGA, you recently met with Donald Trump in Florida. What did you guys talk about? Uh, I was at a dinner, I was not done, I was at a breakfast at a friend's place and Donald Trump came by, that's it. So you didn't go there to meet him? I, no, I went to a, a, a friend of mine's house uh, and it said, it said Donald Trump's coming by for breakfast, is that, uh, yeah, just so you know, like, okay, fine. What'd you discuss? I'm just, I don't. Um, let's just say, uh, it, none of your motherfucking business. None of your business. That's the no there shit. I ain't go there to meet him. I was at a friend house. The nigga popped up for breakfast. I said, what's up, G? That's all you need to know. I said, what y'all talk about? You should have said, how, how was it being the president? What the fuck? How you feel being sued? How you feel, it, 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 how you feel being impeached? It could be in a lot of things. What the hell? So that's, that's what we doing, done. Anytime you talk to somebody, that's what you do, what y'all talk about. It most of the talking. What <laughs> What just, it, and, and the, the, the normal things he says, there was nothing particularly gra 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 groundbreaking or new, but uh, he, you know, uh, President Trump likes to talk. And so he talked. I, I, I don't recall him saying anything that he hasn't said publicly. Uh, and that was it, it was just a breakfast. Did he ask you for money? He didn't. Did he ask you for a donation? What no. The fuck? no. You said you're not going to donate to any candidate. That's correct. Why not? Well, if he said he wasn't going to donate to any candidate, Republican or Democrat, why the fuck you ask did he give Donald Trump some money? And did he even ask for money? Done. You, you, you be putting, you drawing the you arm as a line stepper, sir. I think, uh, Well, I'll, I'll voice my opinion. Um, I think uh, I don't want to. I don't want to put uh, a thumb on the scale monetarily. That uh, is, you know, significant. Are you going to loan him money to help pay his bills? No, not at all. Pay his legal bills. 
I'm not I'm not paying paying his legal bills in any way, shape, or form. And he did not ask you for money. And he did not ask you for money. Are you going to? So you're not going to endorse a candidate? I may, in the final stretch, endorse a candidate, uh, but I don't know yet. Uh, I want to make a considered decision uh, before the election, uh, and if I do decide to endorse a candidate, then I will explain exactly why. Are you leaning towards anyone? No. Oh, man. What the fuck? That ain't none of your business. It's a, it's an American's right not to tell you who the fuck they voted for, sir. This, this see, you, this, see, Elon Musk is this nigga boss. And he said, her grilling me like this. Nigga, ask me about my Teslas. Fuck all this political shit. You're not leaning towards it. Because you've been- I'm sure I'm leaning, leaning away from Biden. You're leaning? <laughs> I've made no secret of these that. These questions ain't hard. These no ass questions. These is questions to get him. If he say yes, I went there to meet him, then he can ask a follow-up question. If he said, did you give, did he ask you for money? Yes. How much? He, give him a number. But I did this all he asking questions designed to get a follow-up answer, a quick follow-up question if he get the right answer. Are you concerned about losing your security clearance clearance if Biden is reelected? Is that kind of it? No. You are leaning away from Biden, but you're not going to endorse anyone. It seems like an endorsement of President Trump because there are only two people who are running now. Nikki Haley is out. I would like to have him between now and the election. So we'll see who in the final analysis uh, are the choices for president. Um, and at that point, I may or may not endorse uh, one of the candidates. If I do, I will provide a very uh, detailed explanation of why I am endorsing one or the other. At that point, might you contribute or donate? Uh, I, I think it's unlikely. So you've been posting up a storm, as you always do in the past couple of weeks, about the redesign of the Tesla uh, Roadster coming at the he end of this year. Are they finally went to the damn car, but he just gonna keep asking this nigga, "Is you gonna donate money?" And he not already said no. I see why he canceled you. He was like, "You is not gonna be a thorn in my ass, bro." Any kind of updates that you can talk about that uh, to expect from your flagship? EV, I mean, Tesla stock is down the last six months. What's next for the company? Don didn't question his boss at CNN like this for 17 years. You know, the stocks go up and down, but what really matters is are we... Right, we only 13 minutes in into this hour. He already on his ass. Ooh. Elon should have walked away like a pimp. He should have walked off and delivering uh, uh, great products. Uh, the, the Tesla products are um, outstanding. Uh, last year, the model Tesla Model Y was the best-selling uh, car of any kind in the world. So it was about 1.2 million units. It was the best-selling car despite being, I think, around 50% more expensive than the next best-selling vehicle um, of any kind, not just electric. So um, I think this... And the Lord was his boss. He was going to be working for him on it. We were giving him a podcast. It's a testament to the incredible work of the Tesla team. Yeah. Um, and uh, Mr. Lou, who specifically says in this interview, the only reason he's talking to Don Lemon is because he got a show on the platform. Otherwise, he wouldn't bother. Does that sound like somebody who didn't have a deal locked in? You don't have no interview with a nigga you negotiated with. We launched the Cybertruck. Obviously, that's uh, being very well received. Um, we have, uh, I think, over a million orders for the Cybertruck. Um, so, uh, so Kino and T. It's it's a really special product. That is those. I think the Cybertruck is one of those product that, products that come, comes along really once in several years, maybe once a decade. Uh, the Cybertruck is a once a decade product. It is so 
uh, special and, and I think it's our best product. Um, so, but everyone improves over time. I mean, Apple, I thought my phone was here, but Apple, you know, the phone got better over time. The, I'm sure that your, your cars will get better over time. You have been tweeting about the, the updates in, in the roasters. There's something that we Yeah, yeah, sure, the, you did mention the roasters. So, um, like, I don't want to give away, you know, much more than what I've said uh, publicly, except that the roadster will be uh, a collaboration between SpaceX and Tesla. So, you know, you can expect some rockety stuff there. Uh, a flying car? Maybe. Threshold, nigga. That's what you're talking about. I'm talking about meeting the threshold. It's not out of the question. Go on. No, I, 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 I got to reserve the cool stuff for the, you know, what, what we actually have early. But it's 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 gonna it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna have um, it's gonna have some rocket technology in it. Um, I think the well, the only way to do something that's cooler than the Cybertruck is, is to combine uh, SpaceX and, and, and Tesla technology to create something that's not even really a car. Then what would it be? Something that's never existed before. I'm getting Jetsons vibes. Totally Jetsons vibes. It'll, it'll, and and I, the one may not be aware, like, some things that I have said publicly is that it'll do zero to 60 in under one second. So, um, that's by far faster than any zero to sixty in under a second. That is the police' worst nightmare. Shit. Uh, you know, sports car that, that exists, um, and um, and that's not even the most exciting thing about it. Does it have wings? No, it does. It does not have big wings. Because big wings would be unwieldy on the road. Does it have propellers? <laughs> it does not have propellers. It has wheels. It does have wheels. <laughs> Roads for 20 questions. It has a, <laughs> does it have a steering wheel? Not exactly. What is it? it will, well, it'll have, it'll have a drive-by wire uh, yoke, essentially, like a, kind of like the way aircraft or modern jets are controlled. And do you think it's a way of the future that everyone will follow? your lead on this? I don't think anyone will ever make anything like the, uh, the, the roads that, that we're going to make. Let's talk now about um, SpaceX, Tesla. you got a lot of lawsuits. You've got X.com. you got a lot going on. How do you relax? Well, um, my, I relax. I spend time with my kids, my friends, and I, you know, make somewhat of a nerd technologist. So I, I like playing video games. So, uh, I'll play video games with, with, with friends online. Just one. Or lately, I've been playing Diablo. Um, and um, But I've played almost all the games over the years. Uh, a long time ago, I was like semi-pro good at Quake. This is really dating me uh, because we're talking about like more than 25 years ago. <laughs> I don't know video games. I just know that my uh, my great nephew loves Fortnite and some other stuff. He's always yeah. with the headphones and, and doing the thing. So that helps you relax, right? So it's, yeah. yeah. This is, and you, it's, and the nice thing is if you've, got, if you've got friends in different cities and they're playing the same game, you can both go online at the same time and uh, play the game together even though you're in different cities. Listen, I'm not asking you anything that anyone else hasn't asked you about. Um, your controversial stuff that you tweet. You post a lot of controversial stuff. Is that considered blowing off steam? Um, That's a good question. Well, I, I guess I do enjoy using the platform. I mean, I do call um, the X platform the, the PVP or player versus player uh, platform. Um, so in video games, there's uh, player versus like environment um, where you're not playing against other people. Um, and then there's PVP, which is like hardcore. You're actually playing against other people. And- uh, so, But that's blowing off steam for you. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is to some degree, not always. I mean, I'm saying I use it for, uh, to post jokes, to post, uh, you know, sometimes trivia, uh, sometimes things that are of 
great importance. Uh, so you do a lot of it at night, like late at night. So when you're doing this, are you are you sober when you do it? Okay. Oh, always, are you yes. under the influence of anything? Uh, no, I don't. I don't drink. I don't really. No, I no. So you got no drink, no smoke, no nothing. I mean, you smoke pot with Rogan. I had one puff. Yeah, I think anyone who smokes pot can tell I don't know how to, how to smoke pot. But you've admitted that you've had you have a ketamine prescription. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that for? Well, I mean, it's pretty private to ask somebody about a medical prescription, you know. Thank you. Um, but uh, it's I think admitted that you've had you have a ketamine prescription. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nico, what the fuck is it prescribed for? Mr. Mr. Don Lemon, you got all the questions. You know what it's prescribed for? That's why. It's like asking a person who takes Percocets and Xanax or whatever, why they taking them? Muscle relaxants, ibuprofen? Why are you taking them? Because my doctor prescribed them, bitch. This is ridiculous. What's that for? Well, I mean, it's pretty private to ask somebody about a medical prescription, you know? Um, but uh, it's, I think it's, it's something I'd say like, uh, th there are times when I have um, sort of, uh, I don't know, like a, like a negative chemical state in my in my brain, uh, like depression, I guess, you know, is, or, or, or like depression that's not linked to any negative views. Um, and, and, and then uh, ketamine is helpful for uh, getting, getting one outside, out of a negative frame of mind. Well, listen. I, 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 in fact, I generally, obviously, I'm not a doctor, but I would say, uh, if someone has depression issues, they should consider talking to the doctor about ketamine instead of SSRIs. Listen, I, I think that um, ketamine uh, and drug therapy is uh, increasingly becoming more in the mainstream. Yeah. Do you think that you're doing it under a doctor's care, right? Yeah, yeah. Literally, it's prescribed, son of a. Done. I think we really should have got punched. Prescription from an actual, a real doctor, not like you know. Yeah, but do you? Um, do you they rap, I've heard rappers and people going into a K hole. They lose their damn mind. You feel like you ever abuse it? I don't think so. If you use too much ketamine, you can't really get work done. So I have a lot of work. So I'm typically putting in like, you know, 16 hour days. That's normal for me. And it's, it's, it's rare for me to even take off a weekend day. So I don't really have like, you know, a situation where I can be not mentally acute for an extended period of time. Like I can't, I can't really get wasted with the because uh, I can't get my work done. So how often do you take it? Um, Man, what the fuck? Bro, you this is offensive at this point. I'm like, nigga, what is wrong with you? Why is you asking me this shit? None of your business. Like, you, you not trying to make me look good in any way, shape, form, or fashion. In fact, it almost seems like you're trying to paint me as a damn drug addict. A billionaire head of a billionaire company, billion dollar um, space thingamajigger, and the billion dollar Twitter, social media. You're trying to paint me as a damn drug addict. Oh my. And this was supposed to be the first episode on his show on X. He thought this was going to go up. He really thought this was going to go up. Oh, I bet Elon ain't let nobody post no clips of this motherfucker on Twitter. I mean, it's. Well, it's, it'd be like it's a small amount once every other week or something like that. But there's, I mean, it's not on the bottle where it says take this dose this many times a week or whatever. If it's yeah, not sure there's a dose. I, 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 there, there are several weeks will go by where I don't use it. You don't use it. Yeah, I think it's just, like I said, I think the, the what if I kind of, if you, if you have like literally like a chemical state in your brain that you can't, you can't just think yourself out of, then uh, ketamine can help, is helpful for getting you out of a depressive mind state. You suffer from depression or you have a depressive yeah, mindset? I asked you as someone who has suffered from depression. 
I wouldn't say that I, I I wouldn't say that I have like a, a case of like extended depression. Um, it's just once in a while. I heard this nigga go again. So you depressed? I ain't gonna drug at it. Yeah, I see why he canceled your ass. I get into a, ne- a negative sort of chemical mind state once in a while. It's not a not a common thing. Um, but once in a while, this happens. Where do you think that comes from? I think it's just genetic, basically. You think it's just genetic history? I think so. Um, yeah. I mean, some people are just wired wired to be happy all the time. Uh, some are unfortunately wired to be sad all the time. Um, and in my case, uh, I'm you know, generally pretty pretty positive and optimistic. Uh, but once in a while, uh, I don't know what happens. There's some uh, you're a human, you have human experiences. Sometimes you wonder what it would be like if I wasn't Elon fucking Musk. All the responsibilities you have running all the shit you run gets to be too much understandable. You're human. Like I said, I think it's just a chemical tied to your brain once in a while. It's like a brain stolen. Yeah. Do you ever worry that this may get in the way of your government contracts and clearances? And, and also, so, and, and Wall Street as well. Well, from a sad point of You just telling the world you a drug addict. Do you think that's going to interfere with your government contract? A depressed drug addict. My bad. Can't leave that one off. Wall Street. Uh, what matters is uh, execution. You know, uh, are you fully value for investors? Um, Tesla is worth uh, about as much as the rest of the car industry combined mm. from nothing. So I, you know. Ooh, that was a flex. And he said, hey, bro, my one car, my one car is worth more than the big three, General Motors, Ford, and all of them. Nobody seeing me, G. He said the whole car industry. And Ben, everybody. That was a flex. And he said he got out the mood. I got to skip it back. You know, uh, are you fully value for investors? Um, but Tesla is worth uh, about as much as the rest of the car industry combined from nothing. So, I, you know, that's pretty good. Um, as I mentioned, we had, we had the best selling car on earth last year. Um, so from, from an investor standpoint, if there is something I'm taking, I should keep taking it. <laughs> have you... <laughs> that was talking? like Lil Wayne, but what, it's in my cup. You see what I've achieved since I've been in my cup? Good answer either. Good. Good job, Elon. Way to fight back. This little prick. Get him. Just uh, uh, uh. Your ketamine use and depression. Have you? You also have said. And the, the reason I, sh- I should say, like, the, like the reason I mentioned uh, the, the ketamine prescription on the X platform was because I thought maybe this is something that could help other people. That's why I mentioned it. Yeah. Can we talk about the great replacement theory now? Um, some of the things that you post. The great replacement theory. You claim that Democrat. What the fuck is the great replacement theory? I plead ignorance to this topic. As President Biden's immigration plan to open up the border, you said that the president is getting, and Democrats are doing it, to get more votes. Um, but undocumented immigrants cannot vote in federal elections, so how is that possible? I seen a thing the other day on World Star where they said, Undocumented can get they they can legally carry guns, so I don't know. They giving them a whole they are giving them a whole bunch of rights right now, and the federal government is still fighting Texas. They won't let Texas police their own state and control their own borders. Every time they do something, they take them to court. It's really weird. Right. Um, well, you're conflating two things. One is great replacement theory. Uh, the other is, which I, 
I don't subscribe to that. I'm simply saying that there is an incentive here. Uh, if uh, legal immigrants, which I think have a very strong bias to at least everything I've read, it's very strong bias to vote Democrat. Um, the, the more more that come into the country, the more they're likely to vote uh, in that direction. But it, it is, in my view, uh, a, the, a simple incentive to increase uh, voters to Democrat voters. Uh, and yeah, so the so question is like how? So there's there's a few there's a, a few ways that this works. One is that uh, when the census is done, uh, the census is based on all all people in an area, whether they are citizens or not. So uh, if there are a concentration of uh, people who came here illegally in, in, a, in a particular state or uh, in a particular state, that state will actually then get uh, an increased number of house seats. So the, the house seat apportionment is proportionate to the number of people, not the number of citizens. So the, 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 the illegals uh, overwhelmingly go to places like California, New York, um, and the if you just look at the, look at the math, if, if, if you look at the apportionment with and without... They always go to New York. Out illegals. I believe California would lose. I believe, I believe the blues... I get what they're saying. The, the, I'm guessing the great replacement theory is the government is allowing all these immigrants to come in and, you know, they say immigrants do the work for half the price and all of that. So they're saying this with their trying to replace us, the people that's used to making twenty dollars an hour with somebody that take making six dollars an hour. There will be a net loss of blue states of approximately twenty seats in the house. Uh, this also applies to the, the electoral college. So you say like well true. this also applies to, to electing the president. Because the, the, the same, the electoral votes are also done by, by apportionment the same way that House seats are done. But the reason, Elon, the Electoral College is in place is to, to balance that so that that doesn't happen. So what you're saying about is the exact opposite of the reason no. why the, the Electoral College is there. The Electoral College at this point, it, at this point in, in our history, gives people who are in smaller states and red states much more of an influence over our elections than people who are in blue states and the majority of the people in this country. That's what the Electoral College does. It actually does the exact opposite of what you're saying. It protects people who are in smaller states and protects people who are in red states. Well, um, who, the red states, I, I, because I, I, they tend I, I, to be think, smaller and, and less popular. I think that that's, that, that statement is, is uh, what, what you said is, is true, but what I said is also true, uh, which is that uh, if, uh, if, as is the case, a disproportionate number of legal immigrants go to uh, blue states, they amplify the effect of a, of a blue state vote. And the math, as I understand it, you can research this obviously very easily on the, it's, it's like, it's, it's pretty straightforward to, to research this. But my understanding is that there would be, uh, that, that the, the Democrats would lose approximately 20 seats in the House uh, if illegals were not counted in census. And that's also 20 less electoral votes for president. So legals absolutely do affect the, the uh, who controls uh, the House and, the House the Senate, and who controls the, uh, the presidency. It does not affect uh, the Senate. In blue states, you're talking about. Yeah. I don't believe that your information on on uh, that is right. Um, so listen, the, let's talk more about the Great Replacement because the first time that you did, you posted on X about uh, this Jewish conspiracy. You ended oh, up apologizing. I didn't call it a conspiracy. Right. I just right. said that there's a simple matter of incentives. You don't need a conspiracy when you have basic incentives. In my view, there's a basic incentive that's fundamental uh, that uh, put forward the Democrat, Democrat Party to foster and, and usher in a large number of illegals. And, they, and, and, and you don't need a conspiracy in that case because you have a very basic incentive. You could say I'm wrong about that incentive, but that's my view. I, I'm not buying into I didn't, uh, buying some great replacement theory. I'm simply saying there appears to be a very clear incentive for uh, uh, Democrats to have to maximize the number of illegals um, because it helps them win elections. I'm talking about the great replacement theory is also part of a Jewish conspiracy theory. And when you did the tweet or you responded to the tweet about that, you ended up apologizing. And which I think is, you know, it's good that you didn't apologize. You went to Auschwitz with Ben Shapiro. Yeah. So you said you learned your lesson. What did you learn? I said I learned my lesson. You said you learned your lesson when it 
when you apologized and you said you went to Auschwitz, you saw what would. No, I was already already aware of, of, of these things. And the nature of my comment that that really inflamed people. Um, what I was what I was trying to say, and I did very quickly clarify. This is what I'm saying: is that uh, um, a number of uh, prominent uh, Jewish philanthropists fund uh, groups that they should really take a closer look at funding because some of the some of the groups they fund, um, I think, are anti-Semitic. Do you understand the connection between the two? There one, there's a connection between you said Democrats and Great Replacement Theory, but when it comes to the actual Great Replacement Theory, originally it was started about Jewish people, as you said, flooding in the country, and then now people are using it for Democrats, saying the same thing about Democrats. Flooding, in my view, is a simple matter of its own. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I don't, I actually don't see an incentive for uh, Jewish people to want to have, but to get legal immigration. I don't, I don't think there is such an incentive. Yeah. The Great Replacement Theory is a, a neo-Nazi trope. It's in the neo-Nazi manifesto. It's in the Turner Diaries. It's referenced by the Buffalo mass shooter uh, in his manifesto where 10 people, um, black people were murdered in Buffalo. His actual title was a Christchurch shooter's manifesto. 51 people in the Muslim mosque were murdered. 23 people uh, murdered in El Paso by a shooter who- ISIS got like 61 in a Moscow attack tonight. They were the theater. Says the U.S. tried to warn them. They had intelligence. They told Russia the attack was imminent. They didn't listen. ISIS took. I don't know why is ISIS. It's Ramadan. ISIS, they child Muslim. Why would they be doing this? They all the way in Russia starting shit. Use the same language that you use in that manifesto when you say Hispanic invasion. Is that not? I didn't say Hispanic invasion. And you tweeted, you quoted a tweet that said, that called it a Hispanic invasion. If I quote something, it doesn't mean I agree with anything, I bring the energy. It, it is a Hispanic invasion. It's we've just something been, I want, I think this is something worth. We've been saying that shit since the 80s. The Mexicans coming over doing all the work. They don't even speak English. They be at your restaurant, Serbia, don't speak English, they know English. Man, like, hold the fuck up. I, now you not, I know y'all might be like, no, you at the Mexican restaurant, they ain't got it. No, you could be at Applebee's, you gonna be a Mexican server that don't speak English. People should uh, consider it. Why would you quote something that you didn't believe? Because anything I quote is going to have a whole range of statements. It doesn't mean I agree with everything in it. Do you think if there, if if you moderated yourself more, if there was better content moderation on the platform, that you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the great great group? And now that I think about it, not only have I never seen the Mexican eat Taco Bell. I've never seen a Mexican working at Taco Bell. I think something about their pride makes them refuse to work with that motherfucker. They like, hell no. Y'all know a Mexican that work at Taco Bell? I'm just curious. Replacement theory as it relates to- I don't have to answer this question. Great replacement theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that I don't have to answer questions from the reporters? Don, the only reason I've been in this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, the only reason I'm doing this interview, there you go, Missy Lou, is because you on the X platform, not as a tweeter, because you on the network, nigga. You on, you signed a deal, you got a show, and you asked if you wasn't on my on the the deal or the podcast shit, I wouldn't be talking to you. You know how many media requests I get for interviews every day? And this how you gonna do me? This is he mad in the motherfucker. Now he, 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 he like, son of a bitch. This is how you treat me? I can't, you just, I'm your boss. This is how you gonna do me? To Jewish people, do you think that? I don't have to answer questions from the reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do an interview with this interview. So you don't think? You, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble, or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm criticized that possibly. I could care less. It, you don't. You don't care. No, I don't. Why care. not? 
I don't think people should care what the media thinks about them. They're terrible judges of character. Even someone who has one of the biggest social media and biggest information platforms in the world, you don't think, you don't care, you don't think that there's, you have any x.com or you have any responsibility to the truth or moderating the platform? So you're conflating the truth with the, with the media, and I think the media is uh, not truthful. Well, not just the, the media, I mean, just the truth in general. I, I, I care about the truth very much. That's why we have, for example, community, community notes on the yeah, system um, where uh, in order for community notes to surface and uh, provide corrective information about what somebody posts, and, and my posts are equally subject to this. My, I've been a community noted many times. Um, the in order for, for community notes to surface, uh, people who have historically disagreed must agree in order for a community note to surface. And all of the code for community notes is open source. All of the data is open source, so you can completely recreate it from scratch. The way to build trust is transparency. I have noticed community notes. I think that you are right about that, and I do think community notes are helpful. I think any yeah. type of content moderation, I do think that's helpful. You recently called content moderation, though, a digital chastity belt. Do you think that do you, you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? I think we have a responsibility to adhere to the law and we have a responsibility to be transparent uh, about when things are shown, why they're shown. Uh, so we, that's why we, we uh, open source our algorithm. Um, the, I think once you start getting going beyond the law, now you're putting your thumb on the scale. And we don't want to put out that on the scale. It doesn't concern you that hate speech has gone. Research shows that it's gone up on the platform since you took over. That's not concerning to you? I believe that is false. In fact, the research that I've seen says it went down. The, the study from the Institute of Strategic Dialogue found that anti-Semitic tweets doubled from June 22 to February 2023. One study reported that as many as 86% of the posts reported for hateful content remained up after being reported. Hate speech on the platform is up. Uh, so what, what they will typically do is they'll count the number of posts, but not count the number of views. So what matters is, was that uh, post given high visibility or what did, did like one person see it? Uh, and if you look at the number of views of how, how, how many, how many times was hate content viewed on our platform? It is down substantially. Yeah. Well, that's not was what the study shows. You said you like transparency. I'm going to show you this and, and Ron, you can get a study that will tell you whatever you want. But the study. This is, these are just a handful of extremely, you look at those anti-Semitic and racist tropes and tweets. And as of this morning, they're still on X. And from your own content policy, these posts should have been deleted. So why haven't they been deleted? Why are they still there? Did you- Did somebody report uh, them? We they delete can't things see if everything. they are illegal. These have been up there for a while. Are they illegal? Uh, no, they're not illegal, but they're hateful and they can, they can lead to violence as i just read to you the shooters you know and all of these mass shootings attributed social media to radicalizing so don you love censorship is what you're saying no i don't love censorship then why, why are you asking i believe in moderation but i, I don't believe in censorship is a, it's a moderation is a propaganda word for censorship but don't you think free speech is one thing right or not you know look if something's illegal we're going to take it down if it's not illegal that Dunn is saying, if I find it offensive, you should take it down. And he's saying, eh, just because you don't like it, doesn't mean it should come down. If it's illegal, it'll come down. But just because it hurts your feelings, no. It goes both ways. You can say some shit back that hurt people's feelings, and as long as it's not illegal, it's going to ride with you. We're putting our thumb on the scale and we're being censors. You're putting your thumb on the scale for moderating hate speech. I mean, you don't put out child pornography. That's not, it's illegal. That's, some people would say that's considered censorship. I'm just saying you- No, that's illegal. That's not censorship. I know this nigga just said, you don't put out Y'all heard it, child, I ain't gonna say the word. Yeah, you don't put that out. Elon says, cause it's illegal. And he says, some people will consider that censorship. Well, they need to take that up with the people that consider it against the law. 
in all 50 states. They, they got to take that up with them. I literally, Donnie, you know, I literally said, if, if something is legal, okay, we will obviously remove it, okay? But if it is not legal, the, 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 the laws in this country are, are, are put forward by the citizens, we're a democracy. So if those laws are put in place uh, by, the, by the people, we adhere to those laws. Okay, I agree, agree. To the laws of, of, okay. of others. If you go beyond the law, you're actually going beyond the will of the people. Okay, agreed with the law. But if you are doing something that promotes hate and violence and ultimately leads to killing, you don't feel there's you have any responsibility not to do that? Uh, when 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 the people who are doing it admittedly are saying those articles all the time that lead to, to violence and killing. Um, don't, don't they shouldn't they it's like you're applying a differential standard to but uh, that would never that would never be in mainstream media these types of images that type of language those things would never be we'd never and made when i was in mainstream media we'd never promote things that um would would be anti-semitic we would never promote things that would either did you do you did you not see those you said promote you said, if content is on the platform that doesn't mean we promote it but that wouldn't be on a, on a platform for mainstream media at all. No, but you can think of that. That's because the mainstream media is has like whatever twenty Every, articles a day. Everybody can't get them. Um, we have five hundred million posts today. Okay, five hundred million. Does it bother you? How do you feel about that when you see it? I obviously disagree with that. I think it's not, it's not good at all. It's terrible. But you don't want to get rid of it on the platform or at least he can't take it down simply because he doesn't agree with it that is the essence of free speech and him being neutral he just said I don't agree with it but that's not ground for me to take it off that's a slippery slope because it's a lot of shit I don't agree with and it's a lot of shit that I probably wouldn't allow on Twitter if I just woke up with X. If I just woke up every day and said, you know what, I'm gonna take this down because I don't agree with this. He didn't agree with the way you talked to him in your interview and that's why he fired you on your day off. Moderator. The rules, you're, you're, what, what you're suggesting is censorship that goes beyond well, the law. It's, and what I'm saying- You better hope his lawyers don't get you for this video. And just be like, eh, take it down. Is uh, I that we I guess have a disagreement because I do not believe in censorship that goes beyond the law, and you do. We have a difference of opinion in that regard. I understand that, but these are your own rules on your own platform. These these go against the, the rules on your platform. That's why I'm asking you. If you had if you said, listen, we allow everything, but that's not what your content rules say. And that's why I'm asking you why oh. are they still there. The, your own content policy. That's why I'm asking you that, not because- Which part of our content policy says that we, have, we, we, we should delete these, these, these things? Your content policy talks about hate speech. Yes, we it don't- It was about to be, man, Missy Lou, did, he was on, did you not hear Elon say the only reason I'm talking to you is because you on the X platform? Man, that he had a show that was going to drop on X. That's why Elon put the tweet out that he was no longer going to be doing the show. We passed. We out of here. It was. Why you keep saying he ain't, he wasn't going to be on X? Yes, he was done. Let me lie. Promote hate speech, hate speech. And so you don't consider that hate speech? I guess you're not understanding what I'm saying. There's, 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 if, if, if there's, you, you can find like at, at, you can sign up right now and 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 do a, a hundred things that are hateful, um, but if nobody reads it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so the, you can you can think of X as being it's much like the internet. It's not some t it's some tiny publication with like twenty articles a day. It's five hundred million. Uh, but everyone has the opportunity to read it, Elon. So and I think they, they don't the opportunity to read the internet. Are you said that suggesting we should shut down the internet? No, but, but you don't own the internet. I'm asking you about you and your responsibility on your platform. And I, I, so I see how you feel now. You don't agree. We don't agree on this. Yes, you want censorship, and I don't. No, I don't want censorship. At yes, all. you do. No, I want responsibility. I think there's. I think there. You desperately want censorship. No, if I want a censorship, you want censorship so bad you can taste it. No, uh -oh. it's not true. Uh -oh. It's not true. I think that there's right and wrong. 
Y'all got Elon fucked up. He is an African now. He, he's from South Africa. He's an African. The motherland is coming out of him. He gonna break out his vibranium on your ass, Don Lemon. You better leave that African alone. I love my wife. And, and I think that, everyone says it. and I and I think that when you have a platform that's as big as yours and as powerful as yours and as influential as yours, and you are a person of consequence to the world with what you do, that there is a certain responsibility that goes along with what you have on your platform and what you put out to the world, and I, I think that's important. You don't see that I've done work for CNN for seventeen years. Responsibility. Um, I think the. We have a responsibility to uh, adhere to the law, um, and if people want the law changed, they should talk to, elect talk to their elected representative and get the law changed, and then we will adhere to the law. Okay. But if you want us to go beyond the law, that is that is uh, us deciding to be censors. So, and I'm against censorship. I'm I'm in favor of freedom of speech. Yeah. And freedom of speech only is relevant when people you don't like say things you don't like. Otherwise, it has no meaning. But I, I do think that there are there should be guardrails. And I believe in free speech. Guardrails still equates to censorship. As much as you. I would fight, I don't, I don't disagree. I don't agree with um, a lot of what you put out on social media, but I will fight for your right to be able to say it. Right. Hey. Okay, so listen, let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion, all right? That's been a target of yours lately on X. You, uh, on, there was a repost of Ben Shapiro that you claim that DEI is killing people. Specifically, you point to medicine. You claim that DEI programs are putting people at risk. Do you really believe this to be true? And what evidence do you have to support it? Uh, what I was referring to there was that if, uh, if we lower the standards for doctors, uh, such so that they, you know, if, if the test for a doctor is lowered, uh, that, then the probability of them making a mistake and killing someone is obviously going to be higher. Wait, say that again. I'm not sure I understand what you said. I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. Actually. Yes. If if these if the standards for passing medical exams and becoming a doctor or, or especially something like a surgeon, if the standards are lowered, uh, uh, then the probability that the surgeon will make a mistake is higher. They're making mistakes in their exam. They, they may make mistakes with people, and that may result in people dying. What evidence do you have, though, that they're lowering the standards? Uh, there is no evidence of that. Well, I believe there is. There's no evidence of that, Elon. What What is the evidence? I, I believe they have literally lowered the standards at, at Duke University, and that is what the article is referring to. There's no you evidence. They have not. There's a status. There's no evidence about uh, lowering standards, and I think that there is. Um, we believe that is a false statement you're making. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. I, I think the issue thing is when this is posted on the X platform, there will be a whole bunch of things that rebut what you said and what, what I said. Right. And so people could then make their own decision based on the replies, the rebuttals, and the community notes. I think that's fair. But I do think that on this particular topic, I do think that you and Ben Shapiro are, are reaching in uh, about this because there was a, what, what Ben posted said that people were, he gave instances of people who were deliberately uh, harming people. Um, nowhere in the thread does Ben suggest at all, I should say, that anyone is being killed as a, a result of DEI? Um, that's purely speculative. There is research on DEI and medicine, and there's no evidence that standards are being lowered, okay. that DEI is affecting medicine. Actually, like okay. on, only 5% of doctors yeah. are black and a small percent yeah, my, well, I think you'll find that when this is posted to the X platform, that uh, people will reply to it with evidence. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Okay, so, but that's my whole thing about moderation. Maybe you're wrong, but you'll put it out there. You don't know if it's right. Do you think that your responsibility to make sure something is right before you, the person who owns it, Elon Musk, yeah. is a huge figure in the world, that you should know that it's true that some there are people at X who can get research for you before you put something out there like that. That's not necessarily true, even in other examples. Um, if I say something <laughs> that uh, is inaccurate, I'm immediately corrected on the platform. That's it's, it's clear you drank the Don Lemon lemonade. It's okay. It's fine. I see you. You believe Don Lemon. What the hell is a 
Twitter distribution deal. That ain't what he don't he don't have podcasts. Don Nimmy was gonna be their first ever podcast. Hence him saying, like he wouldn't talk if it was just a distribution deal, he wouldn't be on there. His job is to spread it out on Twitter. That's all he can spread it out on is Twitter. Where he gonna distribute it to? But he not a music industry to where they could put it in stores and things of that nature. It was podcast. He drunk the Don Lemon Lemonade, son of a biscuit. The advantage of a real-time uh, system like that. So there'll be immediately in the replies, Correct, people correcting me. There'll be community note that will correct me, um, which is attached to the actual post itself. Do you think as many um, people read that? Yes. Do you think as many people read that as it reads your tweet? Yes, in fact, and if, if there's a community note that happens uh, later that or somebody didn't see, but they replied to that uh, or they interacted with that post, we will notify them that there's now a community note correcting that post. Just so you, whereas if you consider the conventional media, that doesn't happen. Conventional media makes false statements all the time with no, and nobody ever hears the correction. When I was in conventional media, I can only speak for myself. If I got something wrong, if someone got something wrong on the platform that I, that I was on, it was corrected. And yeah, we made yeah, sure that it was corrected. I, I can't speak for okay, well, anyone else. That's, I, think, I don't think that's a universal situation. Okay. So I just want, just the research that we talk. talking, do you believe that people are dying? Because yes, and it's not guaranteed money like he would have did with whatever he had going on with Elon. Even distribution deals give you a whole bunch of money up front. We all have a split. You got a split, it's still a boss. Just like YouTube is Don Lemon's boss now. It's, just, it's pretty much because they control all these platforms that we don't own. Although we're, in, we're independent contractors for these people. To the boss, they control how we work, what we can say. We just go keep it 100. It's a fun job, but it's still a job nonetheless. Because medical standards, DEI is causing medical standards to be lowered. Do you actually believe people are dying because of that? I, I believe that it. Uh, if uh, this is then on YouTube, but if you notice, ma'am. On YouTube, that's all he's done on this show. Uh, his YouTube channel, which he created in January, has nothing on it but the Elon Musk interview that he put up nine days ago. That's YouTube. So I'm sure his Spotify and Apple and all of that looks just like the YouTube channel. He didn't have nothing going. He wasn't doing shit. If we just look at it, go look at his shit. What was he doing? Tweeting. This is like did every video since nine days ago. The Don Lemon, Elon Musk, the Don Lemon Show. The Don Lemon Show, Elon Musk said he is leaning away. Elon Musk on the Don Lemon Show. I don't have to answer why Elon Musk uses ketamine. Tune in to the Don Lemon Show for the full Elon Musk. Elon Musk in the hot seat. Elon Musk on racism, baiting out Trump, bailing out Trump. Elon Musk talks racism and the woke mind. Elon Musk comes down on diversity. Is Elon Musk racist? Did I make Elon Musk uncomfortable? And then Candace Owens fired. Ben Shapiro, just another free spirit. Yeah, that this and that was done nine hours ago, Candace Owens. But in the past nine days, it's only been that first interview with Elon Musk. Ain't nobody been talking to no fucking Don Lemon. That's what I'm saying. He 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 sick, really, that this deal fell apart for him. Because again, he don't know there is no set price for what the fuck you get. The super chats and all that splits, that's we we don't control it. We do all the work, they take the most money. That's just it's part of the deal. That's what we sign up for. 
again. Elon probably had 10 million for versus not knowing. Versus having to wait three, four days before your video monetized on YouTube because it takes forever to get it. The number of streams that Apple and Spotify may require before they give you a dollar, all this shit different. It just hit different. If we if we lower the status for what it takes to become a doctor, you're saying if we lower the status. I ain't standards. watching no Dunn. Let me know where he clearly lied. The boy is lying. You believe people are dying because the standards are being lowered? I I don't. Are having that is yes an issue, but it could become an issue. Uh, Google how many distribution deals Twitter got with people. That shit don't exist. Okay, but the actual evidence in history shows. Did Don let me show paperwork of any of this? I bet he did. The opposite. If you look at how minorities are treated by the medical alone. system, oh, he most. must be Puerto Rican, miss. Is that why you defended him so hard? Because he's Puerto Rican. Doctors, okay. most doctors now. He may be. I don't care about the nigga money. I'm just saying he wasn't doing nothing. He was hoping this jet launched him back into journalism. What nobody, who was his last interview since he left CNN? You can't remember it. Nobody, if it was one, nobody talked about it like this one. And the reason this one was talked about is because Elon came out and said, Fuck him. Show ain't coming out. So he had to come out and say, this is what went on in the interview. Are white. And there are lots of mistakes in medicine. So you're saying that my doctors oh, so are- So you say he French? Or- have bad medical care. Creole. I'm trying to understand your logic here when it comes to DEI because there's no actual evidence of what you're saying. He do no, kind of look I said, like Miguel. So, if the standards, like, if, like, let's say, uh, like that particular thing was re referring to surgeons. Let's say surgeons uh, is asked to uh, a, <clears throat> a a surgeon in training is asked to do a, a series of operations under the supervision. Of a senior Man, surgeon. look, Mr. Lou, if you don't get up off this nigga nuts, he did he took a break. No the fuck he did. Now you know what? Game oh. Now I'm for the Google. I'm for the Google and see this nigga's network. Just making me do it now. I just, oh no. He got a bunch of those operations wrong. If if if, if that happens and yet they are still approved to be a surgeon, CNN probably, probably paying him good. Though. Someone will die. I think at some point. Seventeen it's years. Okay. I'm sure he got I a good that, That's a hypothetical. That doesn't mean it's happening. I didn't say it's happening. You said you didn't say it was happening. I said I said it will. You, but I said if if if, if we lower status, people people will die. <laughs> but why respond to something or put something out there that has not happened? Because I could say, you know, I don't want it to happen. I think we don't want no, it to you, you did your information. He worked for, they said, 20 million. Shit, he did that. See, he had some 12 million dollar contracts and 4 million dollar a year. Oh, getting that guap. They ain't gonna get that on, nope, not with, no. Got signed an exclusive deal like he had with Twitter before he talked shit to his boss. He you know, was like, motherfucker. I told you I did, but he told him the only I don't got it. You try to treat me like I'm. A, you a reporter talking to me, nigga? I don't got to talk to reporters. Done. The only reason I'm hurting niggas because you on the platform. You know how many niggas on Twitter? He ain't mean Twitter. Just typing from the couch. You know how many people typing from the couch be trying to ask him for an interview? Just look up Elon's month. Elon Musk's record of doing interviews, he doesn't do them often. He doesn't have that many out here. Okay, if you look at the history of the medical industry. <clears throat> I ain't got no problem with Don. Don just was out of pocket talking to his boss like this. That's why he lost his job. 
um, especially when it comes to that man. The chapter hit up at the interview. I'm just saying, he tried, he tried to get all the money. Where is the, he had no other interview lined up after this? Before this, he didn't see, according to your theory, uh, Mr. No, he had a distribution deal. Where the fuck is guest at? It's been nine days. He ain't dropped shit else. Now he did commentary on fucking Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens business. That's, that's what he doing. That ain't no interview. That ain't no recording that we want to hear from fucking Don Lemon. You get out of here. He in the celebrity blogging now. No. <laughs> Where is his other interview guest? He fucking Don Lemon. He, he can't get nobody on the show. You keep it back. It's been nine days since he dropped the interview. The interview, and then... The fallout was about three to four days before he released it because he got some free press, so he had to build up for it. So it's been two weeks, we'll just say. 12 to 14 days. He ain't had another guest to do a, to, to do the podcast that he would have needed the distribution deal for. Elon Musk was episode one. And since he ain't got that deal, he had to scramble and put this shit on Spotify and Apple and all of that. Because his YouTube channel was created in January 2024. And I'm sure his Spotify and them was shortly after. But he created the YouTube channel in January. No content was on it until nine days ago. Yeah, she going. Americans, it shows the exact opposite. If you look at the Tuskegee experiment and on and on, only 5% of doctors are in America are black. All of them are white. So are you saying that if the majority of doctors are white, are you saying that, and there are still these inequities, right? And there's, and people still, there's still mistakes. Are you blaming DEI for that? No, I'm, I, I'm very, very basically saying that if we lower standards, uh, for what it takes to become uh, a board certified surgeon uh, or you know an oncologist or something where that where the, the kind of disease we're talking about if you make a mistake causes someone to die then the, the more people will die than if we don't lower the standards therefore we should not lower the standards it was like you think they're lowering the standards for minority doctors or women doctors or that's what the, the, the audit, that's what that article said it suggested yes at the at Duke University okay the evidence that I have shows that that's not true. Okay. So listen, after the door blew off. Well, are you going to talk about your evidence or are you just going to say, I got evidence that shows that's not true and move on? That's not fair. Um, this Mid seems like an ambush. I miss Alaskan Airlines. Like, do you remember that? Um, you responded to folks claiming that the average HB HBCU grad was less intelligent than the average airline pilot. Uh, and stated that it will take an airline crashing, an airplane crashing and killing hundreds of people for them to change this crazy policy of DIE. I don't know if you, did you misspell it on purpose, which meant it should be DEI. Do you believe that women and minority pilots are inherently less intelligent and less skilled than white male pilots? No, I'm just saying that we should not lower the standards for them. Okay. okay. But there's no evidence that standards are being lowered when it comes to the okay. airline industry. You've, you've repeatedly said that there's no evidence that standards are being lowered and watch the replies showing all the evidence that it is. Replies, replies so on social media or on Twitter are not necessarily fact and evidence. No, that's, they will just, that's people's they will, they will cite Okay, all the, all the replies. In the replies to this, you'll see how often the, this, the, the information is cited showing that indeed there are significant uh, cases where uh, Standards lowered, and I do hope that happens. I do yes. hope that happens, and I, and I look forward to it. And as you said, if you're wrong, then you're wrong, and if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Yes. Okay. So let's. So I, I'm glad we're having this conversation debate. This is what you should. We should be doing debating the issue. So right. if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, and then they'll be proven. And then we're debating issues in an interview. An interview is not a debate. The thing in view as well, but I just want to tell you that that pilot that you talked about. Uh, in fact, was a woman pilot, 
landed the plane safe, safely, despite the major found malfunction with the equipment. Boeing has taken responsibility for that incident, saying that it was caused by a faulty door panel. So I'm not sure what that had to do with lowering the standards for pilots when it was a faulty. Well, it's not Boeing's task for pilots. It's, it's the, the incentive structure, uh, I, I believe, at Boeing changed to uh, include DEI as, uh, as, a, as a fundamental executive incentive. Um, so, but I, in my view, it should be purely about passenger safety. Okay, but do you understand how by saying just that standards are being lowered, that you're implying that they're being lowered because people are less skilled and less intelligent and you're talking about people of color and or women? Uh, look, I'm, I'm saying we should not lower standards. But do you, you don't, that's it. I think everyone can agree that you can't, you shouldn't lower standards. Right. That's but true. you're implying that they're lowering standards because of people of color or women, because someone is not a white male. You're saying that they're less skilled and less intelligent. That's no, I'm saying. not saying that. I'm just saying no. that they are. Then why would they be lowering the standards? I don't know. Why are they lowering the standards? Just so you know, 5% of pilots are female, 4% are black. So you're, you know, you're talking about this widespread takeover of minorities and women when that's not actually true. I'm not saying there's a lifestyle takeover. Well, you're saying that the standards are being lowered because of certain people. Um, and you, how do you, you don't believe in DEI, right? You not believe diverse in diversity, equity, and inclusion? I think we should be uh, treat people uh, according to their skills uh, and their integrity, and that's it. Do you know that studies show? Studies show. Yeah, well, we can look them up. But, so your reaction to studies show and I understand, right? Because I always like to say, I always like to point to an exact uh, study, right? Sure. Something that is factual. It's the same thing when you talk about, well, let's see what the replies are on Twitter or on back. Yeah, so, so, yeah, I, I, so I, feel the same, I feel the same way about that. But this is what studies have shown and people will reply and they'll say that companies with more diversity and their leadership teams have reported higher innovation, race than those in, with, a lower, um, with lower diversity or low diversity. And they, they're better companies and they make more money. This whole idea about DEI, if you go woke or whatever, you go broke, that's not necessarily true. People with diverse leadership teams and diverse um, workers make more money and more innovative. Um, like I said, my view is that the, the only basis for promoting somebody should be uh, their skills, talents, and uh, their integrity, and that's it. I want to ask you about, there's a, there's a federal government, uh, EEOC, they are also currently involved in a lawsuit against Tesla that alleges that there's a history of widespread racial harassment against black Tesla employees, as well as a pattern of retaliation for speaking out. What do you say to that? Uh, well, uh, there's, I, I don't believe that is, that is true. Um, I think we've got a very good, uh, uh, like if, if you walk around the-, the I don't come at on pending legal issues, cases, litigation. The Tesla Fremont uh, plant, I think it's a very good atmosphere. Um, in fact, I, I practically lived there for three years, trying to make the production work. Were you aware, if you lived there, were you aware of such behavior? I never saw it. So you're saying that this is not true, it's not happening? Well, I mean, there's over 20,000 people. So you say like, if there's over 20,000 people in one building, um, well, is everyone gonna be behave publicly? No. Did I see any any situations that I thought were uh, improper? I did not. Uh, let's talk about trans rights and the, the woke mind virus, because you talk about that a lot. You oh, write about no. that a lot on the thing. You have been deeply outspoken about the issue of trans rights. You posted trans rights. You uh, posted that pronouns and bio mean the woke mind virus ate your brain. Elon, I mean, Don forgot he needed Elon. I'm just saying, Miss Luke. I'm just saying, Twitter is booming. This jacket. <clears throat> this was done four days ago. It said a million views. That's good. What did Spotify get? What did the Apple, whatever else you see here on, what did they get? This is probably going to be the most that he got out of all of them. You know what the term woke actually means? Um, it's come to mean a lot of things, but what it actually, what originally 
It was he had to fuck up with Tasha K at this point. To me, it's just being aware of inequities in society and, and being aware of facts and, and history. Yeah, I think it's come to be. I think I think being aware of inequities in society is fine, of course. Um, but uh, trying to blame everything uh, on on trying to make everything a race issue is, uh, I think, a divisive and corrosive to society. Oh, gay. Even as it relates Throw to trans issues, shit, which is what I, about yeah, race. Race, race or you know, gender or whatever. You think blaming? You think that society blames everything on racism now? I blame a lot of things on it, and uh, yeah. You think that's unfair? Yeah. Why? I think I think we should we should we should, we should uh, not not make this a constant uh, subject. I think we need to move on. I think we should just you know um, treat people like people. You don't agree that there's this country was found. Listen, you must have had you some Coronas tonight. You spicy. Well, what kind of beer Puerto Ricans drink? It on Cubisa. racism and founded on slavery and, and in many ways inequities. Um, that still continue on to this. Uh, I think every country uh, at, at that time, and I think even today, uh, was extremely racist. Um, every country, um, and um, obviously, uh, uh, slavery was present in uh, about half of this country, um, and. No, but not was not present in the in the uh, north. Uh, there was racism for sure, uh, but you know the. I, I think we, we 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 want to look to the future rather than the past, um, and uh, instead of engaging in uh, constant rehashing of the past, uh, because it, it, in, in fact, if you look at history, if you study history broadly, everyone was a slave. Everyone. Yes. Well, not everyone was a slave. No, but, everyone was a slave. Okay. But we, 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 are, we, are, we are all descended from slaves. Yeah. We're all of us. Yeah. But, um, so but just the question of when. Was it, was it more recent or less recent? That's it. Right. Um, so the but what, what future do we want? Do we we are, is this something we want to make part about constantly? Elon, Elon, Elon. That is unfair because nobody tells the Jews they can't teach their kids about the Holocaust and stuff happening. That's telling the history so that it won't be forgotten. And then if that child is taught history and they're hearing someone in the public disparage what they went through, they're able to speak on it. You can't tell them not to go back at the time. Try. Not going to end well. That's how us Black people feel when People that didn't go through the slavery say, get over it. Stop bringing up the past. You know, every 4th of July, we were reminded that for Independence Day from England is bringing up the past. Nobody tells America to get over it and stop celebrating the 4th of July. White people. You an African, but you still look white, sir. You, you typically white. Nobody knows you African. You got white skin privilege. Dialogue forever, or do we want, do we want to say like let's just move on and treat everyone, uh, you know, uh, according to just who they are as an individual? I agree with you with that. That's the ideal, but what the evidence shows. Is that that's not what's actually in practice? What evidence, nigga? I think we're doing better than anywhere else. That, that's true. I agree with that. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean a lot to a whole lot of people who are able to take advantage of the opportunities that you were able to take advantage of right. simply because the color of your skin. Well, what advantage? What, what advantage does it do? What color my skin give me? Well, there's a certain there's an ease that you have in society that you that many people of color don't. You were able to come to this country voluntarily. There are many people who were not able to come to the country voluntarily. There are people who came here as slaves. And there is a legacy of slavery that still continues on. There's a legacy of racism that still continues on. I feel you. 
what was it was a portion of us that didn't have a choice that was brought over here. Their ancestors, if they're still here, they can leave whenever they want to, and they don't. But they ain't going nowhere. Why? In this country, that's and that's why you still here, Don. Just curious, why why you ain't left? Undeniable. Well, if 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 we keep talking about it nonstop, it will never go away. If we keep making that the central thing, it will never go away. Ooh, bad answer. Why do you believe that? Bad answer. I think I'm just making a simple statement of fact. Um, so. I think, I think we want to get away from making everything a race or a gender or whatever issue. And just treat people like individuals. Do you have any desire to understand what many people of color and even trans people, um, how they feel about this country and how they're treated in this country? If they, if they say and they believe that they are treated a certain way in this country, why don't you believe them? You, you, you kind of done, I'm offended you're even equating what trans people went go through which is a fucking choice to slavery which some people could say is a choice too, there's strong arguments for that, I ain't gonna get into it right now but one is definitely a lifestyle choice the other one as you said they had no choice to be over here. And you just put them on the same playing field as a black man. I have a situation where, where someone is, is a self-described victim and, and, they, and they just get to be that because that's how they feel. I think that that does happen in some cases, but not all cases. And I think that not understanding the history of the country, I think is, um, is a, a real shame. Look, I've had we should have had incredible opportunities, opportunities and other countries. I've had incredible opportunities as a person of color, right? But I've also been very well. But I've also been discriminated against, and I know that I have, and I know that that's real. And for someone to say that that isn't happening, I should not. I should just move forward and not think about that and ignore the past is insulting. I'm not saying it. Don, you keep putting words in my mouth. I'm not saying it. I didn't say that I'm you said. It. I'm saying that we want to. We, we as we as a country should move beyond questions of, of, of race and gender, and we should treat people like individuals and, and base our opinions on them, on the, you know, uh, their, 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 their character and their skills. I don't think that anyone will disagree with that. Exactly. All I'm saying is that that's not happening and it's not equal for everyone. That those opportunities don't happen for everyone. And I am a living example that they don't. I know that they don't because I live it. You've been incredibly successful. I have been, and in spite of it all, but I, but I am, I know what I know. I've experienced what I've experienced. You haven't done that. And I cannot, um, I don't know what it's like to be from South Africa. I don't know what it's like to be a white man. I don't know what it's like to be a woman. I don't know what it's like to be a Latino mm -hmm. person. I don't know that. So I wouldn't speak for them and just say, you need to move on. You just spoke for trans though when you loop them right next to the issues we get. Literally spoke for them. That's not for me to say. And the Latinos when you see it black and brown. I maybe I believe that the country, it would be great if the country could live up to that ideal. You think that everyone has the same opportunities in America regardless of their background and ethnicity. Do you agree? You, no, I don't think everyone has the same opportunities. Okay. So um, when you talk about, let's talk about trans rights. So why just, did you move on from that? Because it wasn't what you wanted to hear. Do you think everyone has the same opportunity despite their background? No, well, let's move on. Why? What if you had said yes? You weren't going to bring up no statistics or poll. I decided to, um, to talk about the, the trans rights movement. 
Um, you said that it was a woke mind virus. Why do you believe the trans rights movement is a woke mind virus? What do you mean by woke mind virus? Free spirited. Woke mind virus is um, when you, you, you stop caring about uh, people's skills um, and their integrity, and you start focusing instead on gender and race and other things that are differ from that. Um, I think uh, the world wine virus is fundamentally racist, fundamentally sexist, and fundamentally evil. Okay. And uh, we've got a little bit more time, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You choose your question. Okay, so, okay, thank you for that. But you, uh, I would appreciate you answering these. I think it's important that we're doing this. I think it's important to the to world, the world, to hear this, especially what's going on uh, in our country. Uh, the reason I ask you, listen, there are a whole lot of things that people may be I have questions about when it comes to transgender people. Even people who are part of the LGBTQ or plus community have, have questions about that. But if you are a free speech absolutist, right? Um, and that is part of the First Amendment. Also, the freedom of expression falls under that First Amendment as well. So why can't people choose to identify with the gender that they feel comfortable with or with a, use a pronoun? Isn't that part of freedom of expression? Uh, I guess though that they can, they can ask others to do whatever they feel they can, they can ask others to do anything what it's a different question whether they whether they mandate that others do anything. okay let's let's talk more about free speech and parameters right because all, all this controversy I, I believe as you know has made um x less appealing to advertisers about half of them have left the platform you call advertisers that left x uh, dot com you said there were oppressors you've even gone as far as saying it publicly that they can go f themselves or go fuck themselves if they're, if they're going to pour censorship on, on the company uh, before advertising, then uh, obviously I find that unacceptable. You find it unacceptable. Why is that not a form of, of free speech? They are free to advertise where they want. They're not beholden to, they're not yeah. obligated to advertise. They're not obligated to advertise. Right. Right. So how is that not free speech? So they, they, that's, Whereas the other platforms will censor on behalf of, of advertisers, the X platform will not. Okay. So, but you think it's, uh, you don't think it's okay for them not to advertise with or have their content or their advertisement next to something that is anti Semitic or. That is a different question. Uh, you, you, we, there's, there's, you can absolutely choose where. Next to which content do you want your advertising to appear? Absolutely, of course. And we do, we have, I think, very good ad placement controls in this regard. Yeah. So you said if they kill the company, it's them. But doesn't the buck stop with you? I mean, you're on. I have to say, uh, choose your question carefully. There's five minutes left. Okay, but so is the same question you want to ask? The same question is you said, you oh. said, I mean, you're on. Oh, shit. Nigga, choose your questions carefully. You got five minutes left. And what you say in these five minutes is going to determine whether I fire your ass or not. I have to say, I, I, choose your question carefully. There's five minutes left. Okay, but so is the same question you want to ask? The same question is you said you said that they are killing the company, but you're the head of the company. The buck doesn't stop with you. I acquired X in order to preserve freedom of speech in America, the First Amendment. And I'm gonna to stick to that. And if that means making less money, so be it. So I have to be listen, I, I'm just being honest, right? I'm not trying to like get you or anything, I was just surprised that you would blame other people for killing the company. I mean, you're the, I mean, when you say the buck stops with the president of the United States, regardless of what happens, right? So I, why would this, why would that question upset you? You seem upset by it, are you? I think you're- And I'm not trying to upset you. The way, well, you are upsetting me because the way you're phrasing questions, I think is, is not cogent. Um, it's not uh, what? Not cogent. Cogent. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, so. Uh, you got him. We're like, nigga, I've been silent this whole motherfucking interview. You've been setting me up, G. 
Now I'm about to stand on business. Me. They gonna sue this nigga. Yeah, that, this video was done at Tesla. At the Tesla headquarters. He gonna sue him for the background. If, 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 if given a choice where an advertiser is saying like you have to censor all this content on the, on the platform, irrespective of where they're advertising it appears, uh, then our answer will be like, look, you, you, you can choose where you want your advertising, what you want your advertising to appear next to. You can't insist on censorship of the entire platform. If you insist on censorship of the entire platform, even where your advertising doesn't appear, uh, then uh, obviously we will, we will not uh, want them as an advertiser. So what, what would you say to advertisers to who have left the platform or who are considering coming back or not coming back? What would you like to say to them? Well, first of all, uh, almost all of our advertisers are coming back to the platform. So it's a very short list of advertisers who are not coming back to the platform. Um, and uh, our advertising revenue is rising rapidly. Uh, and our subscription revenue is rising rapidly. And I feel very optimistic about the future of the X platform. Okay. Listen, I, I, honestly, I'm not meaning to offend you. You're an intense person. Where does that intensity come from? I was born that way. And I had a tough childhood. You did? So, yeah. How um, so? I, Walter Isaacson goes into it in the book, and, and we only have a couple minutes left, so. All right. Too long to, to describe. Um, so the one or two questions I can do, and then we'll have to call it. I, Okay, again, I don't mean to upset you. Why are you... You get the fuck up out of there. No, I, I have a whole room full of people waiting to meet with me. Okay, so we're just going over time. Okay, all right, I understand that. Um, so you, when you talk about, you said you were born that way. Is that... Um, did you, you think that the way that you see the world has to do with your relationship with anyone, perhaps your, your father or someone in, in your family? I think we're all affected by the people we grew up with. Um, my aspiration is to uh, do whatever it takes to extend the extend consciousness into the future. That's my goal, um, to make life multiplanetary as part of extending constant consciousness into the future. Has this, has, have the past few years and considering everything that's gone on, has it been difficult for you in your family life? It's been okay. So then, how do you see your legacy, Elon? How, how do you see how well, people see it? I, in the first of all, I say that the um, if I died knowing that I that I did what was right or, or did my best to do what was right, and even if in the history books they said I did, did wrong, I would still feel okay about that. I care about the reality of goodness, not the perception of it. Um, I think we should view civilization. Uh, as tenuous, as fragile. Um, if you if you do study history broadly, you'll see that there's a rise and fall of civilizations that don't always go up. Um, so we should do everything we possibly can to preserve uh, and and extend civilization as we know it. Yeah. Um, and improve it. Um, to become more enlightened over time. And we uh, therefore want to address civilizational risks. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we don't have, for example, demographic collapse, which is the case in a lot of countries, uh, just very low growth rate. Um, we, we want to avoid, obviously, avoid World War III. Anything that is a civilizational risk, that's what I care about, civilizational risks. Um, how do we extend consciousness into the future such that we are able to better understand the, the nature of reality. That's what I care about. That's my motivation. I know you have to go. If you'll just give me, a, I'll do a rapid fire thing here. Is, if there, is there anything that you would change about um, anything that you've done in your life in the past or recently? Um, I've made many mistakes over the years. If I had a time machine, I'd go back and fix them. Uh, but I don't have a time machine. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. So that's it. And as Elon would say, you be the judge. Let me tell you something about this show. The conversation doesn't end just because the camera stops. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah. And when Dunn first came out, he said Elon mad at me when it was announced that the Dunn Lemon Show on X wasn't coming out. So his plan B was.
to come out on YouTube and stuff. He didn't have nothing else going on until that fell through. He thought that was all good when they left the interview, even though it was tested. He thought he wheezed his way out, but he should have known better. The last five minutes, that man was rushing the fuck up out of him. Like, I'm gonna just honor this how I told you, but never. You will never, ever, 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 get in a Tesla. What? Duh, you can't buy no Tesla from him. He gonna put a bug in that jet. He know how to wire the cars and stuff. You can't buy a Tesla. He know you. He, he know you. They see Don Lemon name on the order sheet. No, sir. Yeah, I wouldn't. Nope. Don't get no Tesla G. Don't get no Cyber Truck or nothing. You can't even get one of the little rocket Cyber things he was talking about. There goes zero to sixty in one second. You ruined your shot at the Tesla G. I hope it was worth it. Mr. Lil Never be a dick. I'm gonna go see what his Spotify Apple Music numbers was on this inch on this here interview. I don't know, I'm just curious. We're gonna add them all a little total. And then we're gonna remember that Twitter got 500 million users. And then it was gonna be pumped by the owner. It was gonna get in the algorithm. You know how many retweets that gem was gonna get? Man, we're gonna kill. Nigga said he blew his chance. He blew the bag. He fumbled the bag, sis. Missy Lou, he fumbled the bag. You can't say he didn't. Oh, shit. All these places got different days that they pay. We know YouTube pay once above. I don't know what Apple and Spotify pay. But man, he, he fumbled the bag. He did, man. That's all I'm saying. He ain't had no backup. His backup player was YouTube. That's fucked the damn, dude. Man, you might well try to go to Fox News or something. WWE. You could be an announcer at WWE coach. He was a WWE announcer for about 15 years and he moved to Sports Center. He do UFC and stuff. We can do it. Let's see. He abruptly kills it. He abruptly can't just add. After he set for Don Lemon's first interview. That was the first interview. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, that was going to be exclusive to Twitter or whatever. I wish it, I, we need to see that country. Oh, hell, I want to see that country. He from the bag, sis, I'm telling you. But all right, y'all, tomorrow or later on today, we got Tommy Sotomayor versus Hebrew Israelite brother Captain Cesaria. It should be interesting. I ain't heard it yet. I just got a notification for it on Rumble. I said, they're going to be some good arguing. That they're going to be some grade A arguing now. That sounds like it. I don't fuck that. I don't, I don't, you keep saying, I don't know who Luke is. Fuck Luke. He's saying white. Why Dunn didn't interview Luke? Why the fuck he go over there? That's what I'm saying. You keep saying go over there, but Dunn lying. Just like Dunn started this video off lying. That nigga ain't had nothing on his YouTube channel. This interview just happened. Within the past two weeks, which makes it still March, he created a YouTube channel in January. He ain't put shit on there because he ain't had nothing going until the Elon deal. And the only reason Elon agreed to it is because he was on the X Network. You ain't going to get around that. That's the only reason he said it in the interview. The 
only reason I'm talking to you, nigga, is because you want to get at work. Otherwise, uh-uh, I don't talk to reporters. You treat me like a reporter. He said it. He said it. It's just it's just facts. I'm telling you, you better listen to fuck Luke B. You better listen to um. You better listen to this nigga when he went on all these shows shortly after it was released. That he was fired. That's why everybody wanted to talk to him because he was fired. Nobody knew what was in the interview till he started going on these big shows after it was dropped. His show was dropped. The Don Lemon show on X was dropped. People want to know what was in that damn interview that made him fire you. His initial response to it was Elon mad at me. He got fired, sis, on his day off. He, he wasn't blindsided, though. He should have seen this shit coming. You can't talk about your boss like this. He couldn't talk about the nigga that's CNN like that. He can't talk about the owners of YouTube like that, Apple or Spotify. Free speech, my ass. It is free speech. I ain't gonna stop you from putting it out, but I, I business dinners is over. Get it out the moon. Wait, I gotta cut my music off. So you just want you say, Mister Lou, you just want to argue. You just want to argue. It's fine. I enjoy the. I enjoyed the heckling all night. You just, you you drunk the done lemon lemonade. It's okay. It's it's fine. He a charismatic old nigga. I get it. All right, y'all. Until tomorrow night. Well. Where's the dang song? Oh, there you go. And play some biscuits. Whole team shining, we stars, big dipper. Get a lot of haystack gang in the sip. Niggas ain't real, nigga. Nope. You gotta feel me, nigga. Yep. Smile in my face behind my back. You're trying to kill me, nigga. Damn. You say you got beef. What? Then what you wanna do? What? You screaming, fuck me. No, nigga, fuck you. Bitch. You ain't hard at me. Nope. Couple kick dough, couple robbery. Oh, nigga, get extorted. Get a boy. He don't pay the fee. Posted yeah. in the north. Got yeah. the two to four recipe. Ooh. I be cooking chicken, bitch. Not talking rotisserie. Tra I got Tra all my hater, Tra man. Tra I know that they sick of me. Hey, Who the fuck he think he no. is? Motherfucker, MB3. Oh, yeah. I honestly pay him no attention. And they up under me Haters call me Visa Cause I'm everywhere they wanna be Ladies man Catch me with more honeys Than a bumblebee Say she got a husband But she always wanna suck the D State gang True simple Who these niggas wanna be I been getting money Since a younger I been pushing P Stay strapped Gotta watch your back When you're in the streets Friends turn to foes Never know who your enemy I was in Detroit He ain't keep the same energy West side down the slide I don't think he feeling me I was on some demon time Nigga talking about killing me They no business Let's see all that shit that you gon' do to me Come outside, why you scared? I thought that you been a G We don't blow, we pullin' up, we different down in Tennessee Riding through the city, I'm with it, I got my nine clock Mip it really fit it, let's get it, I got the guy in lock Green and white square, been serving them on the same block Dying peace with me, she foreign, she come from Bangkok Riding through the city, I'm with it, I got my nine clock Mip it really fit it, let's get it, I got the guy in lock Green and white square, been serving them on the same block Dying peace with me, she foreign, she come from Bangkok Old school bitch, call her Aretha Shawty so fine, shawty she a keeper Smoke that reefer, preferred by the quarter I do this for my kids, my sons and my daughter Get treated like a king, hoes call me sire One look like Lotto, the other look like Maya My plug, he ain't playing, he only talking the numbers I cop it, whip it, and ship it, my money coming in bundles Different flavors of goods, always ready Apple, if a nigga traveling, it's gonna be a partnership with Lemon for the show, saying with 30 minutes Riding through the city, I'm with it, I got my nine clock Mythic really pretty, let's get it, I got the game lock Green and white squares, been serving them on the same let's block Bad beast with me, she foreign, she come from pain oh Riding through the city, I'm with it, I got my nine clock Mythic really pretty, let's get it, I got the game lock Green and white squares, been
bitch and serving them on the same the block. Shit. Time piece with me, she foreign, she come from Bangkok. Oh, God. Riding through the city, I'm with it, I got my nine shots. Yeah. Nip it, really beat it, let's get it, I got the game. Yeah. Like, green and white square, the serving them on the same the block. Shit. Time piece with me, she foreign, she come from Bangkok. Oh, God. Riding through the city, I'm with it, I got my nine shots. Yeah. Nip it, really beat it, let's get it, I got the game. Yeah. Like, green and white square, the serving them on the same the block. Shit. Time piece with me, she foreign, yeah. she come from Bangkok. Oh, God. Whole team shadowy stars, big dipper. Get a lot of haystack gang in the city.